how does generative AI create competitive advantage for a company? In the past, we've seen different kinds of technology comes into business and really changes how we conduct business. Much of those has to do with efficiency gain. This time, we see a similar effect with generative AI, but it goes much beyond that. It could fundamentally change the business processes, but it could also change how we think about business model within a certain industry or sector or even across sectors. So let me give you a few examples. First, we work with a company called Siemens Gamesa, and they create these huge wind turbines. Throughout their digital transformation, they discovered there's very important steps when you coat the wind turbines with different materials. All these membranes are quite translucent, similar to the human eyes. Therefore, prompt to a lot of different errors. What they did with generative AI is they use image recognition technology to have the generative AI see the different materials and make sure humans are picking the right ones to apply to the big wind turbine. So that in a lot of ways drive the efficiency, reduces the risk. At the same time, we see similar effects in other functions when we change business processes even at a strategic level. For example, at Roche, Roche International, which led by an INSEAD alumni called Boric. So very early on in the 2017 and 18, they introduced generative AI to analyze and then help them with the financial budgeting. What does that do is it doesn't only drive efficiency and accuracy of the financial prediction, but also changes their strategic budgeting processes. Before, people spend a lot of time negotiating with each other around what are the budget. Now, computer can do the job and they leave the senior executive going around different countries, different therapeutic areas to talk about how do we better serve the medical professionals, HCPs, and how do we better serve the patient community. It goes even beyond that. In my work, I work with a very innovative law firm called Allen Overy. Uh, what they have been, uh, been doing in the past years is they gradually introduce the power of generative AI. In collaboration with OpenAI, they were able to take their historical cases, combine uh, with other litigations to really generate new insights on how do we train our people, how do we take litigation forward. In a lot of ways, that changes what type of talent you engage with, how do you actually rethink about the litigation process, how do we train young lawyers when you take out a lot of these uh, very manual labor type of paralegal work. And they were featured by FT as one of the top 10 most innovative firms in the world. So hopefully here are a few examples to show you don't think generative AI simply as another email or it probably serves more like electricity. It could change the efficiency during your operations. It could fundamentally change and reshape your business processes. It could also challenge you on how do you think about new business model and leverage generative AI to help you drive to the future.